This episode is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a breakdown video, but it's also going to be a workshop video, and it's going to be all things motion control. First, I'm going to show you a scene from a film I shot called Isaac, where we utilize motion control for the entire scene. And then I'm going to break down what motion control is and how it's used and utilized in films today. So let's watch this scene and then we'll get back to it. The fuck are you going to do with that choir, boy? To the corner. Now, as you guys can see, there are some very intricate and fast moving shots there. But before I break that down, what is motion control? Motion control is using a robot or some piece of equipment that can give you repeatable action. So in my case, we use the bolt. And now here I am, we're on uh, Camera Control's website. Camera Control is a motion control company. Uh, they're absolutely incredible. But this is the bolt. Now the bolt is a robot. They used to be used, uh, or they still are used, but now they're utilizing them in filmmaking for manufacturing. So these robots would be building cars, screwing in screws, stuff that people have now automated so that living people like us don't have to do that work. That's where they're from. And now bringing it into filmmaking, they've utilized them uh, to carry a camera now. So this is the bolt, this is the one we used. It has a 61 pound payload. Uh, it has almost a seven foot reach. So from one end to the other, it can move about seven feet and it can move up to 15 feet per second. So that's extremely fast being extremely speed perfectly steady uh, so very intricate it sets up in about 45 minutes and it can also be put on track so that it can go further than that six uh, to seven feet of reach so now it can be utilized in a bunch of different ways uh, I'm gonna give you a couple here the first is going to be VFX let's take this shot for example I'm sitting here in my chair in my office and say I wanted to multiply me into multiple people so I would literally shoot this then I would shoot a clean plate. Then I would shoot me standing over here. Then I would shoot me standing on this side. And then when I stack them all together, I can just mask out myself individually in each one and it will all blend together. Now this is because the camera hasn't moved and I shot a plate. But what if I wanted the camera to be moving? Now this is where motion control comes in because the robot allows us to make the exact same shot move the same exact way every single time. So think about it like After Effects. You can add keyframes. Each of those keyframes do a certain thing at a certain time, and every time you play that back, it will do the same exact thing. So if you want your camera here, and then you want it to move over here, then you want it to move down here, then you want it to move here, then you want it to pull back. Those would be keyframes. So here's an example of a shot um, where the guy will move around within the scene while the camera moves. So as you can see, he's sitting in the chair. Now he's up in the background. Now he's over on the left, he's in the middle, he's with somebody else, and the camera doesn't look like it's jumping, right? It's the same shot, but they're able to program it so that it does the same exact move every single time. Now another way to use this is to shoot something that's moving extremely fast and capture the action like you've never seen it before. So if you throw a high speed camera onto the bolt arm like a phantom that shoots a thousand frames per second, 2,500 frames per second, five, 10,000 frames per second, and you're moving the camera extremely fast, now you can capture a gunshot or a drop of liquid being dropped into a cup of coffee. Um, it is extremely beautiful and people utilize it all the time for commercials. Um, and then there's also the movie called Bright where Will Smith is firing his gun, right? There's explosions going off around him. People are fighting, people are getting shot, but the camera is moving so fast, it spins around him to see what he's looking at. And the camera movement actually looks like it's in real time while everything around him is slowing down. Now this is making you feel like you're inside his head with him. It's giving you this, this surreal type of element to tell the story in a different way, right? Everything slows down, but we're still with him moving around him in real time. Now that's because the shot happens extremely fast. Now as Will Smith is standing there firing the gun, it looks like the shot takes about 10 seconds total. 
but it actually probably happened in about one or two seconds. So the camera is literally going zzz, moving that fast. And uh, if you look up the behind the scenes, you'll see that the camera is literally moving 10 times faster than you actually see it in the final. And that's because it has to look like the camera's moving in real time to make everything else around it move in slow motion.